So I am ready now. It's me once again, it's Dexter here and welcome to Dexter's World. I'm so glad to read all the comments that you have made on our video. In the last video, we have covered how to breed this guppy fish. See that? You see that? Here. Wow, these are... Fancy copies there and there are a lot of comments that really inspire me to go on with doing this kind of videos and if you can see at my back this is a newly constructed fish pan for our koi fry and yes indeed uh, we've been successful so far in our breeding I am so glad that many of those who subscribe to our channel have been inspired to also breed ornamental fishes and there was one comment from India that because of our video they were able to fabricate their own incubator and it was very successful well I am so proud to read all those comments and there has been comments also that because of our videos on Dexter's World, he stopped from his addiction to computer games and instead he started breeding tropical fish. Well, it touches my heart actually and this is my ultimate goal to make this internet world a better place for us, especially those who are spending time too much on the internet, on YouTube, on other social media. And today, I'm going to reveal to you my own method of culturing tubifex worm as what I have promised. Yeah, well, just this morning, we have loaded thousands of Japanese koi here in our newly constructed fish pond. And as what I have said, in breeding any kind of ornamental fishes, live food is very essential. That is why, if you can see at my back, I already started culturing dapnya. And today, I'm going to show to you my little knowledge about culturing tube effects worm. Yes, of course, I'd like to thank you and grab this opportunity to thank you all. I may not be able to mention to you in front of the camera, but rest assured that all your comments have been valued so much. I only have little time to focus on our comments, but rest assured that all of these comments have been read by me. And as much as possible, I'm trying my best to really answer all your queries. But for the meantime, yes, we're ready now. You can see here, these are plastic containers and we bought this last time. This cost us the 135 pesos and this container now will be used in culturing this most awaited video, this tube effects worm. And this tube effects worm will be placed at the left side of this fish pan and before we do that, we're gonna go there to get the stand made of aluminum. I have bought a stand for our tubiflex and uh, come on, let's go there and we'll get and then we'll install the stand here with these containers. 
So you will see that this tubifix worm is really easy to propagate and you don't anymore need to go to the river, to the sewer, to the river bank, or to the rice field. Come on, let's go there. The stand for our containers is ready and we will claim this now. Come on, please. tricycle for this but they don't like to carry our stand that's why we just put this on the top and uh, it's okay it's just a nearby place from here so this is it we are going to set this now for our tube effects work Because if you will do this out of wood, then the tendency is it will just be destroyed so easily because of the water. This aluminum has lasting, long lasting lifespan. Remove this, remove this one. This cover, this cover, this one. This, this. Okay. Wow. This is exciting. Yes. This one. Remove this one. Oops. So, I am ready now. with containers and we will put submersible pump at the bottom and then we will put a tube running in here and the water will drip from top to bottom containing the tubiflex worm and that's the system. So this is 
the second layer. This is the second layer. And please watch out for our next video. We're going to show to you the actual loading. We will put some mud here, maybe about two to three inches thickness, and then we will put the tube effects worm. And the life of the tube effects worm depends largely on the flow of the water. So there will be a tube here and the water will flow downward and this the water here will drip then downward and that's it in our next video we're going to let you see the actual preparation of this all of these things all of this stuff and please don't forget to watch our next video on this uh, culture of tube effects worm as of now we're just setting up the containers and for us to really understand how to go about this tube effects worm culture we will put the worms the piping system and the water will flow and drip down here so watch for our next video on this only here at texture's world